Hey everybody, welcome back to another Stone Face Reactions. I'm Griffin, that's Theta, and we're here to watch the Spy X family and drink a lot of water. That's right, Theta. All of it. There we go. <laughs> Get in it. Yeah, there you go. So, last time on Spy X family, we uh, investigated the General Hospital where Anya followed Lloyd around. Uh, exposed all of his lies, and found his secret passages, and made the hospital staff believe the ghosts exist. And then we deciphered the perplexing clode where, uh, Lloyd's Q-type character, who I keep forgetting the name to, uh, did not in fact get a date after deciphering it. I think that's about what happened last time, unless you got anything to add to that. Like I said, we already know Anya wasn't going to activate anything. Because <laughs> after episode... Two, where she acti activated the radio, and now I got kidnapped because the other people thought that that was the spy's radio. You know, and they were trying to capture Twilight. So we already know that she knows not to do that kind of stuff. By the right. way, you're loaded up, right? Yes. What frame are you looking at right now? I'm looking at a cityscape. All right. I'm looking at, apparently, I'm guessing what must be three seconds in. Because I'm on zero, but it says three. There's a woman behind a pole holding a little girl's hand and they're walking forwards. The little girl has no face. Like, I... not, not like a blurred out face or anything. Like, they shadowed the face. There's no eyes, no nose, no mouth. Data, that's a spoiler. Those are the doppelgangers. No one's supposed to know about that until next season. They are standing in front of a uh, a shop with a bunch of wigs. So maybe. Maybe there there's like go. two mannequins that got loose and stole two wigs. Well, we've already discovered the supernatural is real in this universe to some degree. You know, I was so stupid. I was about to say, where? Where's the <laughs> supernatural? <laughs> It's like, oh yeah, wait, there's a dog that can see the future, and now you can read minds. Uh, no, that's perfectly normal. Dogs always see the future. What are you talking about? I've centered myself in reality and completely forgot All right. that people but... can't just jump off buildings. And today, we might see a little bit of that. I believe uh, your brother is coming back and is doing a bit of his own investigation. And it's going to cause a whole bunch of trouble, and you're going to end up uh, being jealous of one of Lloyd's contacts, I think. Because Lloyd keeps getting deliveries from this random silver-haired lady who seems to be working for him. When did that happen? Definitely last episode, where you, the you silver-haired said... lady walks up, hands over a thing to Lloyd, and then goes away. You said kept or keeps... As though it's happened more than once. Oh. It happened the it's last happened episode. It's happened at least two times. If I had a nickel for every time it happened. You'd yeah. have a nickel. It's I only happened two once. Nickels. It's only happened which, once. Which isn't a lot. <laughs> it's only happened once. At the end of last uh, episode. Everyone, quick, go and rewatch all of our reaction videos and count the number of times the silver haired lady is there and also hand something to Lloyd and report it down in the comments and don't forget to like every single video. These are things you can do on Patreon, that is true. <laughs> uh, but I am right, it has only been once. Well, I'm not going to fight you on it. Doesn't matter too much to me. But cool. It, so, could you it's just say going to be something that matters here? <laughs> Since you don't really care that much, could you just say you are right, Theta? Theta, you're so right. You're right about literally every single thing, and I've never heard you be wrong once. You know, I'm gonna make that into a GIF with there you go <laughs> text under it, so it's understandable. Right. Whip that out anytime I'm just saying something that you disagree with, and it'll work out. Uh. But right now we're going to, I think we, we kind of see what our A and B plots are going to be. And I know how, like, the jealousy arc is going to resolve, right? This is comedy. It's obviously going to be the misunderstanding. Everyone gets together and they go, oh, no, it was actually this all along. Except that's going to be an excuse because they also still need to hide the spy stuff. 
But the A-plot, I have no idea what's going to happen. Well, you see, what's going to happen is that our main, well, friend of our main character is going to carry a C4 explosive onto a uh, shipping container just off of the uh, city. And they are <laughs> going to be killed by their best friend because they couldn't stop them. No, Lloyd, how could you do it? Uh, I keep... I love illusioning back to 24th Ward. It's so fun. It took me half a second, and I was thinking, wait, is this a Call of Duty reference? No. Is, is he going to throw a bunch of C4 onto his Jeep and drive it into a building? Uh, no, it's uh, that that guy who developed the, the whole thing, mm-hmm. and then got, like, mind-twisted, and carried out the C4 bomb, and they couldn't stop him. So he ends up getting shot with one of them that was there. Gosh, I miss Tokyo 24 Lord. I want to say at one time, I want another season, but I'm also thinking there literally can't be another season. There could be another season. You don't remember how it ended, do you? Literally, they ended it on a perfect, this is how things are going to go going into the future, and we're each looking over a thing. It's like, could have might as well have been like the basis for the season, the start of the season. Except now we don't have the people from the past. Mm-hmm. It's just the show got so little views, and sad no one talks about it, that I just keep bringing it up. <laughs> no one will... In hopes we can go ahead and talk for five hours about it again. I well, know, I just, I no, know. I mean more specifically, no one will ever catch my references unless we explain what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, but speaking of references, how about we watch? Right there, no face. Ah, I missed it. Banzen will kiss Tame. Joint operations. Yoroshku Tanondazo. Liokaides. Barin to Sogo Bio in Jim. Fiona Frosto. Onawa, wise no spy data. Tasogarani Motstai to Itegre. Saxon, I'm going to guess, sister. オペレーションストリクスの妨げにならないよう配慮しろよ。ストリクスの進捗は父たる者だ。まあ、元々が教育を受けてきたものだ。もう仕分けありません。I Oh my gosh, いや、しょうがないです。ロイ、そう、しめてるから。たそがりさんの手柄も横取りしようってか。味方の背中も差しかねえやつだな。独府、冷血、鉄面ピ。眉一つ動かさず任務に執着する彼女は君悪がらだ
I don't know, I think you want to take her. I, oh my gosh. He could actually get a full-on war battle out of this. I doubt it, I don't see that for you. It would be, it would be something else to have it devolve into your stomping the spy, discovering that, and securing Lloyd even more because obviously he's not the spy. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Yar, you learned how to cook. How'd you, how'd you do that to an egg? She learned to cook one meal. Did you mess up the cereal too? How did your own cereal your? Stewie I really thought she was sister guard. Yeah. Yeah, she's teaching the せっかくですから上がってお待ちになっては。では、お言葉に甘えて。どうぞ。どうも。わあ、綺麗な方ですね。何か。素敵なお宅ですね。不倫相手が来たとでも思ってる。そうね。好きあらば妻の座を乗っ取ろうというのだから間違ってはいないわ。家具とかは全部主人がヨルブライア。あなたにストリクスにとって足かせになる存在なら
安かったのでそうなんですねカペコヨかしらかぼちゃとパスタも安かったですよレジが混んでて大変でしたあの店のおすすめはエビだ先生には言ってませんでしたが私はエビアレルギーですお姉さん、父と仲悪いもしかして悪いのかしら顔も怖い。顔も怖い。顔も怖い。顔も怖い。顔も怖い。顔も怖い。顔も怖い。顔も怖い。顔も怖い。顔ああ。もうあんなどんくさい女は不要だ。世界平和のためには君と結婚するよ、トモリ君。ああ、先輩、任務と言わずこの身を捧げます。Sure. コードネーム、トバリ。彼女の野望は、黄昏のお嫁さんになることであった。私の方が絶対奥さん役に適任なのに。任務の面でも家庭の面でも超絶サポートしてみせるのにああ、ハネムーンは南の島に何を考えているあ、コーヒー入れますね、ロイドさん。アーニョさんはココアでいいですかアーニョさん ?You、you okay there, アーニョ ?I mean, it's a bit much.I <laughs> think she's just completely startled. I want to see a turnaround on this. I want to see Nightfall go. Wait a second. It's not your holding this back. It's Anya. 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 そう思われても仕方のないことかもしれません。朝食さえまともに作れないんですから。どうぞ。ごくわん。こちらミルクです。ありがとう、夜。<笑>先輩はブラック派よ。ミルクを入れてるところなんて一度たりとも見たことがない。そんなことも知らないで、今までよく妻役が務まったわね。私と変われ。えそんなバカな、あの先輩が、家庭を持って思考が変わった。私の知らない先輩がいるというの。この女にしか見せない姿を。いや、そうか。これはロイド・フォージャーとしてのキャラ付けね。ミルクを入れる人物を完璧に演じているのだわ。この家の雰囲気に合わせているのさすが先輩、好き。ミルクで少しでも家のダメージ軽減を。いや、そもそもノンカフェインの飲み物に変えてもらおうか。お姉さん愉快。何やってる大丈夫ですかアーニャさん。やけどしてませんかちょっと待って、ちょっと待って。そこつな先輩がきちんと訓練を施していれば、コスプラックは全然にキャッチできていたはず。やはり忙しくてその暇がないのだわ。おい、ボンド、絶対舐めるなよ。お前には毒だからな。であれば、やはり、娘の強化育成は妻の役割。叱ることもできないこの女にはとても務まらないわ。私と変われ。私が母親になったら、分単位でスケジュールを管理し、知識と体術を徹底的に叩き込む。一ヶ月もあればステラ製造マシンに改造してみせるわ。アーニャこの母断固拒否ココアは非常に栄養価が高いのでいいですよね。<笑>ああ、なんだかアーニャ、母に甘えたい気分。え、ど、ど
どうしたのですか急にここは吹いてくれる母世界一好きあーにゃさんなんだその理由<笑>私だって甘やかすくらいそうだアーニャちゃん今度すごくおいしい外国のココアをプレゼントするわねシャーえなぜ初対面の方に緊張しているのかしらねアーニャは向こうで今度と遊んでろ仲良しの父と母がいてボンドもいてアーニャホージャーケンの娘でよかったあ,あすごくよかったマジでそれ以上に。助けてもらえることなんてないよ。Me, said, ロイドさん<笑>頑張りますだからもう頑張ってるって。偽りの笑顔。いいことぼり。スパイトルムのどんな時でも本音を表に出すな。イエス先輩。心を殺せ。隙を見せるの。イエス先輩。私これから一生ポーカーフェイスを崩しませんいやそれはちょっと、oh, <笑>国防軍のライオネル闇商人のローレンス政治秘書のロバートいろんな先輩をずっと見てきた私だからわかる Lloyd, but... よくできた作り物の笑顔<笑>そこににじむ微細な本音そうだ私肝心のジャガイモを買い忘れてましたこの辺でおいとまさせていただきますえ雨が弱くなるまでもう少し失礼しますあいつ傘持ってなかったろ駅まで送ってくるは,はいお願いしますました今度の任務先輩と私の2人で当たるようにとハンドラーが。おい、そういう大事なことはちゃんと。とばる。今日が雨でよかった。お前。この気持ちは隠し通す。詳細は病院でまた連絡します。なぜなら、私たちはスパイだから。Said out loud, openly on the street. そうそうそうそうそうつか冷戦が終わりそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそあなたの妻にふさわしいのはこの私以外いないとずっと Well, you're suggesting this one be an end of credits thing? That we get like two or three minutes of a brother? 
I definitely was wrong about which one was gonna be the A and B boss. <laughs> I mean, I called it before anything else, the moment we met her, like the first sentence wasn't finished, she's in love with Twilight, it's like, it's so obvious, there's not much drama to be had. How can you be so precognitive? I am a dog. Uh, what else, though? Oh, we're gonna get, we're gonna get more episodes here anyway. Let's hold on to that. Bear Bear Squad. Anya, soro soro ha mi gaite nero. ウィ、大丈夫。敵地での測量は危険が。この白い熊さん、ボンドみたいだな。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
ボンドマンも言ってたぞ昨日の敵は今日の友とあ18話のセリフ<笑> well, Lord, have you been looking up the Wikipedia for Agent Bond? He's read the whole episode list. わ、我は深く傷ついた。だが今度の戦争はピーナッツに免じて集結させてやる。<笑>あと、アーニャも嫌いって言ってごめんなさい。平和条約に調印だ。<笑>東西もこれくらい簡単だといいんだがな。Next mission. Hampleton Underground Tennis Tournament? I will say that I think the, the end story was better than the first story. That's a good opinion to have. I like them both.、Um, that, doesn't mean、like, tangent... that doesn't mean one isn't better than the other, Griff. <laughs> Before you go off on your tangent thoughts, I'd like to stay on the show for a moment. So, well, it's do, to the show here. do your best to remember it. Well, Pugs, I want to stay on topic. Before,、mm -hmm. and I know you're forgetful, so just j jot it down in your mind somewhere. But I get very attached to the childlike emotional stuff because I think it draws me back in. Because, just, I don't know, across my life, I feel like there's been a lot of child stuff that I missed out on. So,、mm -hmm. seeing a character that I'm emotionally attached to have similar things. Like, I had a stuffed animal, I think we all might have had one. Remember a kid that I had torn away from me and I cried. And I'm seeing things that I can emotionally resonate to. So it very much has a stronger feel of attachment to me to see these things on the screen than the tried story of romance and spies. I, I don't think the romance was tried at least. I think it's at least an interesting element, but like, obviously, like, we're, we're not jealous lovers. We don't like feel those same things. But it's still interesting drama, and I like the way that the characters all individually handle it with your and her like, lack of confidence and trying to like, push that up. And、uh, Lloyd, I think learning how to manage the family and actually seeming to genuinely be into it, which is always like Lloyd's arc. Like, Uh, he's not supposed to be invested. He's told other people not to. And here he is doing just that.、Uh, so I think it's fun to see it because it helps reinforce what the main characters are doing, what they're feeling, and how they feel about each other. That is a local obstacle for them to each over overcome. That's an intellectual、uh, point of view, right?、Mm -hmm. I could only get into that of,、hmm, okay, yeah, that's interesting. Whereas the other side. Hits me on an emotional level, which is a deeper cut, which is why it'll always be the, the better side of things to me than、oh, yeah. the other. Absolutely.、Uh, in terms of、uh, side thoughts I had here, I was just thinking Anya is psychic. She can't read a television show. I have to wonder if, like, for a kid who has psychic powers, that would probably make television suddenly even more interesting, wouldn't it? Because it's the one thing you can't really predict what's going to happen. She's taking everything at face value. She also is that, because she is a child, too. But it, it does seem interesting, just sort of like as a side thought. It's like, why is she so obsessed with the TV? Well, aside from being a kid, of course. I think it's more just being a kid. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because it's also, they're like 1950s, 1940s. There's nothing else. She's not interested in reading. So, there's little to no other entertainment value for her. She's interested in Penguin, she's interested in Spies, she's interested in TV. Well, two of those are born from the third thing. Right.、Uh, so, next time, Underground Tennis Tournament Duos with Nightfall. 
the this sounds like it's absolutely bonkers. I need to see this. <laughs> this is very much right up there with like let's play the most dangerous game, right? <laughs> Was that the reference to that ping pong movie? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> Was it Paddles of Fury or something like that? But it's still um. It looks like it's going to be absolutely crazy. And I want to know what, like, goofy stuff is going to happen in it between these two very serious characters. Like, if we were to put everyone on a scale, Lloyd is one of the most serious characters out of, like, the main three, right? No. No? You, which one do you think is more serious than Lloyd? Nightfall, obviously. Well, I, I said, like, out of the main three. Right, you said the most serious. And then you <laughs> literally just asked me, who is more serious? So... <laughs> Amongst Lloyd, Anya, and your, who's the most serious? Anya. <laughs> Lloyd is not the point of view to be able to be more serious than Anya is. And then Anya has to engage in subterfuge in order to try and make sure things stay the way that she wants them to be. Her perspective and framing is constantly very goofy and silly, except maybe for, like, the one bomb plot. Yor has a very serious job, but has, like, the naivete that kind of takes all the edge off of it. Lloyd remains the most serious, individual, dramatic element. Anya almost drowned herself to prevent another boy from being drowned because she sensed yeah. him from across the hospital. That's pretty mm -hmm. serious. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but still, putting them into what is undeniably a very goofy-sounding situation still does sound absolutely hilarious for me. Anya like, is also... I'm excited for it. Anya is also the closest to have been recently an orphan and is actively trying to maintain a house situation that avoids her from returning to said position, which is very right. serious. Now, the serious question is, how do you think Yor and Anya would do as a doubles team for tennis? Bad. <laughs> You want to elaborate? Anya has no physical abilities. We've seen that. Mm -hmm. And Yor can't do her assassin shit in public. Yep. So it's, just, it's a recipe for disaster for sure. Uh, Blood, Lloyd is hyper competent. Nightfall, probably too. Uh, this will be fascinating. To Lloyd see. trained on, Nightfall. Yeah. Who on earth are they being put up against? The Serbians. <laughs> you didn't see them? How does this apply to the mission? I need to know what this mission is. You didn't Why see them? They were there. <laughs> Literally, um, one of them looked like the leader of hmm. Boris and Natasha. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Alright, uh, do we have any final comments to say about the episode? Who is also of this era? Uh, do you have any final thoughts? Oh, yeah, it's probably going to be regret over leaving my wife and children with that other woman many years ago. I'm sure it was fine. So, anyway, I think that's going to be it for Spy X Family today. Uh, I'm Griffin, that's Theta, and we'll catch you next time. See you, everyone.